Many PlayStation 3 and PS Vita owners are noticing that their digitally downloaded games are now unplayable because they are expired. Why? Because you bought them back in 1965. No, that's not a crack on retro games. Clearly, what's displaying on their PlayStation is saying they downloaded it in 1965. Now, whether this is a glitch on the PlayStation Network or a sneak preview of things to come from Sony when it comes to canning game preservation, that will soon be seen. Sorry for that somewhat cryptic, ominous, and serious intro, but in my opinion, game preservation is a very serious topic because a lot of these classic games are being kept alive by the emulation community, which is terrible because the emulation community is constantly getting crapped on by the manufacturers, Sony, and definitely Nintendo. Microsoft is pretty chill when it comes to using their intellectual property in their games, but coincidentally, they are the major game company that is all about game preservation and includes a lot of their past titles with the frame rate doubled in their subscription service Game Pass. So there's the least need to emulate those games, but also the least backlash or consequences. So I have an article from The Verge that was published yesterday that will be cited or sourced down there in the description below, as I do any time I cover any news in the gaming community or industry. Players on PlayStation 3 and PS Vita are having trouble accessing their digital purchases after a strange expiration date suddenly appeared on certain games. The problem seems to mostly affect classic titles, preventing users from playing Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, and other others as the games are now showing expired. But here's the odd part. The expiration dates are dated half a century in the past. That's some Twilight Zone stuff. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. So as you can see from this tweet from Christopher Fuse over here, his game is showing that it expires in 1969. They didn't even have the Atari 2600 in 69. People were still getting handies in their Camaros at the drive-in, smoking spliffs and whatnot. Some players say they've tried factory resetting their consoles, subscribing and unsubscribing from PlayStation Plus, and restoring their game licenses, but to no avail. So that's just a big old pain in the rump, having to factory reset your console, hopefully you backed up all of your save games and whatnot, and then unsubscribe from PlayStation Plus, which by the way, they don't make it easy. All these subscription services, it's easy as cake to get signed up, but then to unregister, for example, we use Game Pass here. You have to go to a Microsoft website that shows all of their PC-based services, and then you'll see Game Pass in there as well. And you can unsubscribe from there. It is incredibly easy to sign up, not so easy to sign out sign off. And with the great track record for game preservation and all the integrity they have over there at Sony, PlayStation has not yet acknowledged the situation and the game company didn't respond to Verge's request for a comment. Even if this is just a glitch, it's stoking concerns that Sony is dealing yet another blow to the PlayStation 3 and PS Vita stores. After the game company nearly closed down both stores last year. Remember that? I covered that news extensively. And even though they did keep the servers for PS3 and PS Vita online, it made them harder to shop at by taking away the ability to use credit cards or PayPal to make purchases. How the fuck are you supposed to purchase digital games without using a credit card or PayPal? It's really quite simple. You're going to catch a first class flight to Tokyo, Japan, go into the Sony headquarters. You're going to take the elevator up to the sixth floor. There's going to be a shipping and receiving department there. If you see the vending machines on the left, you've gone too far. You're going to find a little old lady named Irma there. You hand your money to her, but she only accepts rolls of quarters. Not any quarters, silly McNasty. They have to be minted before 1967. Then you need to go home, take a nap on a cot of banana peppers, and three and a half weeks later, your game will be available for download. But it's in six parts, and they're also in a compressed zip file, so you're going to need to download WinRAR and unzip them, unpack them into a parent directory, put them into an external flash drive, and jailbreak your PlayStation. I'm obviously exaggerating, but I can't fathom how you're supposed to purchase a digital online product, even a piece of software like a game, if you cannot use a credit card or PayPal. I'm assuming bank wire or direct deposit? is an option, but people generally don't feel comfortable putting their banking information, you know, checking and routing number, into Sony's databases considering they've had their titties hacked off multiple times. Do you remember during the PlayStation 3 era when the PSN was hacked and was offline for over three weeks as they were scrambling to scrounge up everyone's information? So it is unclear if this is just some kind of glitch and it's going to be remedied. It's unclear because Sony won't just simply make a statement, shoot a tweet out, send an email, talk to one of the news outlets like The Verge that requested a statement and be like, oh, this is just a 
the glitch, we're fixing it, or just kick open the closet and come straight out with the truth. Hey, we are planning on shutting down the PS3 and PS Vita servers due to it not being lucrative for us anymore. I think us, the gaming community, at least deserve the truth well in advance. So the people that use the PS3 and PS Vita store and have a lot of games there can back them up or try and figure out from Sony any way that these games will continue to be playable for them. Now, I personally do not think it is a glitch or a bug, a hiccup in the system. I do think that Sony is starting to wean out or phase out certain older titles. But fear not, the emulation community's got you. PlayStation 3 and PS Vita games can be obtained online, legal backups of these games, and emulated relatively easily even on mid-end PCs. So even if Sony doesn't want to support their classic games that help build the platform and make Sony PlayStation the gaming name that it is, the gaming community will carry on the torch. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back, AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community Discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding. Starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.